Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life and I'm here for March and April layout shares. So I have 18 layouts to share with you. I'm very excited. It's the first time in a very long time I've had this many to share and let's just get right into it. The first two are layouts I've created and I'm pretty sure I've shared um, like on Instagram, maybe in the shares when they were done. However, I didn't have the photos yet. So this one was um, some really pretty drinks that I had at a um, wedding get together thing. And so, so good. Um, and I was using up this beautiful Coco Vanilla Studio Sunkiss collection at the time. And I just had never printed the photo. So that one is officially done and can go away. And then this one was in February for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And it was um, using a just this really pretty collection from Simple Stories. But it was highlighting sequins in a starburst, starburst look. And then um, just this cute photo of Sean and I when we were at Glow this year. Which is just this fun event that happens um, in our community. So I love it. Now we will get into the rest of it. I'm going to split these up so that not quite so full. <laughs> this is a March one and this was for the Scrappy Sisters, um, the Scrap Timber online hop that happened, crop that happened. And the challenge was to scrapbook a layout in 45 minutes. And it wasn't exactly 45 minutes because I did the stitching. <laughs> But if you took away the stitching, um, it was fun. I had a lot of fun and played and got this really cute layout done using some Echo Park. I'm not sure what the line is, but it was a summer line from a couple of years ago. I was excited to have that done. And I don't know if I show this because I'm really happy and proud of myself for this. I changed the color of the thread along to match with the colors that were in this little stripe paper. This one starts, I think this one now starts into um, 30 days of sketches. I did a few, I didn't get all of them done, but I did get a few. I'm not gonna remember who, what sketch it is or anything like that, but I will have it up here so you can see it. Uh, this one I used a cut file. I did quite a bit of cut files in the last couple months and sequins. Um, with one of my favorite techniques, which is just gluing them on and sticking them down. And then this is a, I think it is, hmm, I can't remember who created this line, but it's a very fun kind of coastal vintage line that I really loved, a Rosie Studio, I think. And so I just added a few things there, title it Good Times, and I just like how the vibe it gives off with this cute photo of my son walking in the waves. Here's that other Echo Park line that I just used. Um, and this one was also one of the sketches. I had a lot of fun with this one. I actually think this was Janet's sketch, if I'm not mistaken. I do know this one. It was originally like this. So I rotated the sketch, used my three photos. You see this a lot with me as well because I have three kids. There tends to be three photos. I like my photos grouped together. So this is a very common way I spread things out um, and then down here where in her sketch she had elements of paper and stuff I used some shadney wood veneer I used a little bit here and here as well just had fun playing this layout and getting this layout done is what kind of skyrocketed me into feeling like I'm back into my group of scrapbooking so it was exciting I also did this fun thing where this collection has both stickers and chipboard and so I rotated them. So there's chipboard, 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 sticker, sticker, sticker that is not fully stuck. Um, so they kind of have a bit more of a banner effect to it. I thought that was fun. All right, this one, it was another one I think I rotated it. The sketch I believe kind of goes like this. And uh, to make it work with what I wanted to go with, I went ahead and rotated it, cut out the little two by two squares that you get in the collection front page when from 
pretty little no pink fresh studio when it shows you what the, the papers are you know how you get those little squares so I just cut them out and layered them in a pattern that kind of mimicked the sketch Used my three photos added some more shadney wood veneer goodies layered in some florals did that tear effect called it good really really pleased with how this layout turned out um I had this great plan to paint these wood veneer and it wasn't really working Thankfully, it, it matches in the end, but that wasn't my original. <laughs> my original plan didn't really work out, but I'm happy with it in the end. And I'm very happy to have these sweet photos of my daughter. She was a cat fairy one year for Halloween, and I wanted it to be for Halloween, but not Halloween colors. She, there's no, there's no Halloween-y colors in that. And I just wanted to give my, myself the permission that you don't have to scrapbook Halloween and Halloween colors. We then move on to this one, which was, I think maybe the most challenging sketch of the series from what I was kind of talking with people and reading with people. But I had this really awesome pattern paper from the Buenos Dias collection. And it, the moment I saw the sketch, it's where my brain went. And so I just fussy cut it out, stressed the edges, match it up with the sketch with kind of the idea of the one photo with the three it's a little different but I made it work and then I just played I did some mixed media with a stencil so it had just a little bit more texture to it layered in these florals these are from a floral package I think from uh, Pink Fresh there are these really awesome little epoxy from Shadney these ones are the Easter epoxies so I got those in the middle of all the florals, which I thought was really playful, kind of fun. Gives that kitty Easter vibe to it. And then I was super excited to highlight this wood veneer because I received it as a thank you for an order and it has been sitting in my stash waiting to be used and I love it. So that was really exciting. And then I did get the trim like you see in the sketch used. You can see the inspiration from it, but I was so pleased with this layout. It is probably my favorite layout that I've created in the last little bit. Okay, now we're going to veer to a little bit of something else. These next two layouts are for the ABC challenge Moira and I are hosting in our Spending Freeze Facebook group. And we're just, it's really just a challenge for us to use up our supplies. And we've just been having fun. I've only gotten three of the layouts done. I do plan on doing I think maybe every Monday every other Monday to get through that but it's meant to be throughout the whole year it's not meant to be like bam 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 so we don't even have all the challenges out yet and I'm jumping around but this one was for a for alpha and I went into my stash my alphas are right next to me on my wall and I had a bunch that I was like there's these don't even make words anymore and so those are the ones I pulled and then I just grouped them together on this cut file that I had in my stash and I just think it's super cute I love it I've placed my photo there of Mr. Barrett this was before I mean he's like two in this photo maybe he was way too young to be going to school but he wanted to so bad and that backpack is like as big as he is and just super adorable and I loved it. So this was really fun and it's going to go in his school album as like his very first layout because he was just so excited. And I'll do a little journaling. I think I'm going to do it right here. I feel like that's a great spot for it. I just haven't gone to that. I really need to go through everything and do some journaling. But that was my take on alphas. There's so many different things you could do with them, but that was my take. And then this one was for cut files. So I'd already done B, which was background, which I shared in my February layout share if you're interested in that. Uh, but this one was for a cut file. I grabbed this one also from my stash. I did the stitching. I, I'm a big fan of stitching. I don't mind it. It is tedious and it takes time, but I don't mind doing it. And I love the final results. So I went ahead and picked a bunch of really fun, bright colors to play off of you know, something. Pick this photo of Jackson from his birthday this year. And Jackson's actually the one that picked this green background because I had an option of this green one or a blue one. And he picked the green. I was actually going to pick the blue. So it was, it was fun that he picked this. I'm really happy with how it turned out. 
did the stitching, found a bunch of nines again within my thickers and stuff. I don't use a lot of numbers, so it was great to get them all used up. I just titled it B-Day number nine. It's what fit. <laughs> I got this little um, windmill, wind, I don't know what you call it. Ah, I had those spinny things used up, um, which was super awesome. And this was Jackson's favorite piece, a floral, a couple um, kind of bigger pieces from my stash and then I backed it and this was the thing I was most excited about it's a valentine's day paper and I struggle using valentine's papers it's so hard for me um, but I love how it looks as a border on this it just pops it pulls in the red that I picked just perfectly and I'm just a big fan of how it turned out I think it's really cute so that was my other one for the ABC challenge I got done and then we will move on to some more sketches. But within that, I was using the Leftovers to Layout series that uh, Kristen from Scrapping on the Fly was um, kind of hosting and doing. The point of it was exactly as it sounds. You use your leftovers to create layouts. And my take on that was I had two collections and I only used one. Um, and there's other videos about it if you're interested in it. And I only used one collection and I tried to make it work because my struggle with them is this collection doesn't have this really crisp white and I, I struggle with that. And so I was challenging myself to get these layouts done. I think I got three, three or four, I'm not sure, but I got a couple done and I was so excited and I pretty much have this collection killed with the exception of one two page spread I want to use. All right, so here is one. Again, it's one of the 30 days of sketches. I did it for Spiegel Mom Scraps with the sequins. I stitched some sequins and then I finished it off with these cute little puffy butterflies from Shadney's Etsy store. And then just these cute photos of Barrett looking out the window as my little guy. We, our old house, we just had the most gorgeous, gorgeous, um, sunsets and sunrises even kind of depending on you know the time frame of the year and stuff but oh it was just gorgeous and it was one of the things I miss about that house um and so I definitely wanted to document that and this these photos were kind of in the middle of lockdown so it was just being like enjoying something when you're kind of stuck at home here's another one using that collection I used this piece of paper um a couple of the embellishments um and then that was it from it but it was still a bit I used a good chunk of that paper which was awesome I painted it with my favorite white acrylic paint I did a cut file in the background with mixed media you can see that there and then I needed some sparkle because it was a New Year's Eve photo and I needed something and so I went ahead and put sequins and color kind of color match them with the mixed media that I had done I'm very happy with this. I think it's cute, definitely works. My New Year's Eve layouts are always my opening layouts for the year. Uh, and I think this is a great opening page. So very pleased with how it turned out. And another Easter one. And again, there's the idea of those three photos like I was talking about. I kind of did it with the other one as well, actually. Um, and instead of that, I used my journaling. So I am a fan of this kind of flared out three photo look. I do it a lot. This one, it was definitely from a sketch though. It went down a little bit more than I expected it to, but I had already glued this part down and I'm like, we're not moving this, we're going with it. But it was awesome. I got a bunch of these little florals from that collection that I struggled with, but got those used up, which is awesome. Added in that the white that I struggle not having in the collection. I just use it as borders and stuff. So it felt cleaner to me, crisper to me. And I was happy to have this one done. And I got that little bunny used up as well. All right, now the next five are from Build a Page this month. That's the series I do with Kristen and Moira and Shannon and Jen and Sheila. And we use a bingo board. So it was really exciting. My take on it was just to go down the columns. So every column represented a day. So this was column number one. I can't remember everything that's in it, but that is what this is from. 
I did some mixed media. I used two six by six papers that I butted up against each other. They're the same paper, obviously. And then grabbed some ephemera from Paige Evans and backed it with a floral paper, which I thought was really pretty and gave off the right kind of vibe I was looking for. Um, this is my, my oldest and my mom, and they went to Lummy Island for a picnic. And that was a lot of fun. It's quite a while ago. That I think this might have been pre, I think it was like 2019. So, yep, that's a while ago. It's nice to get some older layouts done. This one was the second row. And what I remember from it is there were flamingos and geometric shapes. That's what I remember. Uh, so I love this. I have this adorable photo of my daughter. And I don't know if you can see, but in the background, there are some flamingos back there. It's at our zoo. She loves flamingos. They are her animal. <laughs> she loves them. And so this girl loves flamingos. Like how it's perfect. Describes her. Got my journaling on that one. Did my mixed media. Layered in. Bunch of fun things very happy with this. Um, this collection is also a, a always Rosie Studio um, collection. The flamingo papers aren't, but the rest of the stuff is. So really love that. This would be the middle column. And what I remember from that is I needed to have an L-shaped design in the butterflies plus a free space. So for the free space, I created this layout and loved it so much I created a sketch. So I made the free space my sketch, which I will hopefully provide up there so you can see it. Um, it's going to be the sketch of the month for May in my 30 Days of, of Sketches Facebook group if you're interested in that. Um, and then yeah, so I use this really beautiful background, which I also think might be, this is the Jen, this might be Jen Hatfield, um, Live and Let Grow background but I put some sequins in the flowers I think that was something else that had to be in there fussy cut out these Maggie Holmes butterflies and then layered in um, and made the L that way I called this the carousel collection when I created it and I now realize that is not the collection it was <laughs> I think it might have been that beachy one but I called it carousel so I realized I was wrong and I'm sorry if I offended anybody so I'm not the best with collections um especially maybe homes that kind of blend together. But anyways, I love this layout. And the fact that I got this photo, which I mean, Nora's a baby here. So this is 2017. Um, I'm pretty sure this, she got that doll for Christmas. I think I took that photo on Christmas. So yeah, she's a baby and I had never scrapped it. And I can't believe that. So I'm very happy to have this one done. And I got a lot of really sweet compliments on that. So thank you. And then this one, I know there was a grid involved and a cut file. <laughs> so I did that. I um, definitely got my grid. I stitched it, which I love. It's very subtle, but it's there. Um, and then I just layered in the cut file on top. I did mixed media. I backed the cut file. I did all sorts of things, again, with a R Rosie Studio collection. And this is my daughter now. So, you know quite the difference right <laughs> baby Nora and big girl Nora um she turned six this year which is insane to me and I struggle with the fact that she's six but that's what happened so that is her cake and I love to do these I love to document their birthdays and I love how this turned out so there's that one and then for the last one for build a page was to use a stencil and stars and um, a flare. I think there's a few different things. And I came up with this. So again, a cut file. I definitely think I rocked my cut files this, this month. I did good. And um, backwards bar rider, because that's what's happening. He is riding his sister's bike. He mastered his sister's bike before she did. Um, but he rotates the handlebars and rides it with the handlebars backwards. And it's just what he does. So I thought it was funny, but it's something I wanted to document because it's very Barrett <laughs> and I love it. And I did realize that I made this 21, but it's actually 22. However, I don't have another two. So I'm going to just write in there with a little black pen and be like, nope, just kidding, 2022. And that will fix that when it goes in my album. Really happy with how this turned out. Again, the cut file is from my stash, so I couldn't exactly tell you where it's from, but... I love it. And I use one of those pre-mixed media backgrounds from Vicki Booten for that one. 
And then finally, we've made it to the end. This one was to celebrate Nicole Santos and she reached 500 subbies on YouTube, which is such a fun milestone. So to celebrate, she gave us a recipe, like a three, two, one type thing. Um, we had to use three pattern papers, um, used selfie of ourselves, a photo of ourselves, and we were supposed to document things we liked about ourselves. I haven't done the journaling yet. I'll get there. But I documented a selfie I took during my anniversary trip with Sean in March. We went to Victoria. It's lovely. And so this is the first layout I've created documenting that trip. And I love it. I did some stitching. Found a sketch from Allison Davis who just makes the best sketches. And so I went with that. Did stitching on the outside. A little bit of ephemera. And called it good. Really happy with how this turned out. I think it's super cute. And I love it. All right, so there we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, so 16 layouts in the months of March and April, and most of them were actually in April. And then these are those two extra ones that just needed the photos. So 18 layouts. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today, and I will be back soon. It's May, so we're going to get into May I Scrap Lift You. Um, yeah, have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.